<laughs> really want to see one. Look, there's the tracks. Grizzly Bear, male, 422 to 551. All right, I actually like the look of the, uh, the lookout towers as well. Look at that. It looks all beaten up and stuff. So I should say to you guys, I don't actually know if I'm going to keep this in the video. But as of right now, this is my very first impressions. This is the very first time I've been able to boot up Yukon Valley in the game. And I've got to be honest, I'm not disappointed. Look at this place. It's as gorgeous as it looks. In one of my favorite TV shows, Alaska The Last Frontier. I really enjoy watching that show. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. Visit the nearby lookout tower. Okay, here we go. Let's survey the land. That is a sight. So, what I wanted to do in this video, I want to try and keep it as raw as possible with you guys. I genuinely just want to take a look around, see what animals we can come across, and basically give you a first impressions. I don't want to kind of dress anything up. Oh. <laughs> you hear it? You can just hear the vague sound in the distance. There's the wolves. They're calling to me, guys. So, yeah, what I want to kind of do with this video is basically just keep it as raw as possible. Whether that be just having a look at the land, just, you know, what kind of terrain we can come across, weather conditions, and, of course, the animals that are in the Yukon. I can't wait to see them. I was actually super, super hyped about the caribou. And I don't know why. It was just an animal that... I'm glad that they added, and I almost forgot about. All right, let's take a look inside the cabins then. Look at this. Some familiar sights that we've seen before. Definitely a different cabin, though. The weapons locker is all inside, all contained. There's no containers and stuff, just plotted on the outside, which I really, really do like. Kind of keeps the environment nice and clean. What's that? Is that where people would store food away from bears and stuff? I think it is. I think I remember seeing that in the show. All right, so what I'm going to quickly do is switch out the weapons. I believe we do have a new weapon in this, so I'll be able to show you guys. And then I guess we're just going to jump into the wilderness and see what we can see. Okay, so here it is. This is the brand new rifle that's come along with Yukon Valley, and it's a 300 Canning Magnum. It was developed for moose hunting and go-to rifle for large game in the Yukon region. Favored by marksmen and hunters alike for its accuracy, the 300 Magnum cartridge is effective at long range, hunting up to 400 meters. Look at that recoil though. 90 recoil, accuracy 80, reload speed just under 50, and hip shot 35. All right, we're actually going to get that. I'm going to bring that with us today. We are officially on our way around in the Yukon. Now, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. When I was setting out on my equipment in the cabin, I heard the call of another grizzly bear. No, I... Oh, that's so cool. It's never going to get boring either. You can hear the wolves. Oh, there it is again. Like he's responded. I can't wait to see them. But first impressions, because that's what matters. There is a lot of vegetation. If I'm not mistaken, I think these plants or this particular bush was added for this map. Listen to them. It's like they're trying to distract me from you guys and just say, come on, we're over this side. I do want to test if you can get full invisibility in these bushes. Oh, <gasps> You can. Nice. Because I really don't like the blinds. I really like being out in the open like this. All right, so what I'm rocking today. Slot number one, the Mosin. Can we actually get a quick glimpse at anything? Listen to them. They've not stopped. And there's more than one. I'm coming, guys. Don't worry, we're going to be able to play the gray. What is that noise? You hear that? It sounds like a puppy or something. Oh my god, if there's like baby wolves on this map, I'm going to lose my mind. And I can actually see that marked grizzly bear trail all the way back here. Listen to that. Oh wait, if I'm not mistaken, there's red fox on this map, so it could be an ambient sound from them or something. There's the wolves kicking up again. Now, I do realize that the build that I'm playing on right now, it is subject to change. So, whenever you can hear something in this version of the game, it might change for you guys when the game releases. Wait, is that a duck making that noise? The Harlequin duck, or as me and Tekka were calling them, the Harley Quinn ducks. That's what we're going to call them from now on. 
It's the easiest way to remember it. Listen to that. My point was, this version of the game that I'm playing, it might be different to yours. But when you can hear that, the cry of the wolf in the distance, I really hope they don't damper that down because that is such an atmospheric change. Like, you know, you're in trouble if you can hear a bunch of that going on, especially if the lights go down and it turns to nighttime. Okay, so I've just spotted this caribou off in the tree line. That one would definitely be an easier shot, but I kind of want to go for that one. I'm not mistaken as well, I believe True Rex is implemented with these things. Ooh, that is a nice sound. I can't imagine it's going to hold integrity on that. Oh, what we got there? Yeah, I'm definitely seeing variation on antlers. Okay, so there's been a couple of things that have happened since you last saw me take the shot at the original caribou. I've just been trying to get my consecutives up, so I was just popping shots at the rest of them and a moose as well. But look at this. The landscape has now completely changed. From what was just completely green is now slowly settling to a white. I love that about this map. All right, let's claim them. Can't imagine they're anything special. Try and get that score up a little bit. You can taxidermy these things too. Not really the point. Oh, that's right as well. Two score. But it is implemented on the caribou. Look at those tiny little things. All right, let's just collect it. So what we at? Should be getting up there now. Look at this though. I don't know what they've done differently with the snow. But it definitely looks different than it does on Medved. You guys see that? I don't know if it's just because there's a... A different colour behind it. What the hell is that? I'm terrified. Oh, it's just more caribou. Okay, is this the guy that I saw before? I think it is. Look, he's making those movements like... Possibly injured. Let me just take him out. Okay, that should be Tango down. I think it is. I wanted to get a look. Is that the moose as well? Nice. Okay, so I've got everything in this area then. For full consec. Listen to them! You guys know how long that I've been saying in the videos with Taco or even on my own. How badly I feel like this game needed something like wolves or dogs. And now we've got them, guys. I'm just, I'm super, super happy. Look at these things. Holy and that's not even the biggest variation you can get. That is super cool, though. All right. Confirm trophy. Let's take a look. So, where did I smack this guy? Oh, in the back of the leg. What was the original distance? 251 meters. All right. I can't grumble too much. He was with the Mosin as well. Get that consec up. Let's have a look at him, though. Okay. So, I do remember this from the live stream. Maybe they're going to change that. But, I mean, look at the size of these things. They don't even fit on the screen. True score. Main beam length. I'll leave this up in case any of you guys want to take a look at it. I'm just more convinced. Is it still breathing? Oh, no. It's the footstep. I thought it was still breathing. I'm just more concerned about just taking a look around the map. We'll get to all this good stuff in good time. Right. Let's just claim it. I'm going to go and claim my moose, too. Well, look. They're still here. Is that the one that I smacked? It is. I'm going to smack it again. And go down. And I can hear the wolves. What's that? Oh my god, that's a grizzly bear! Okay, I was just about to claim the caribou, and this girl appeared on the hill. I'm gonna go for it. I don't know where her heart is. It's guesswork. 50-75. Oh my god! The size of that thing! Oh, it's down. Okay, nice. We get to look at a grizzly bear. Right, let's claim the caribou. Just as I was walking up this way, I heard like a moan to the right. I thought it was a moose. <laughs> it's a goddamn grizzly bear. Right, let me run over this way. I've got to say, guys. The last time I had this feeling where you have a massive smile on your face while you're playing was the Savannah. So that's definitely a good sign for me. I can promise you all right now, if you enjoy this game, you are going to love this map. I mean, again, I'm not under any illusion that this is anything what they're like in real life. But, I mean, in a game sense, that's pretty damn close. And I really, really like the look of these things. Right, should we confirm it? Let's see how we did. How close to the heart did we get? Okay, not bad. We got single lung, left lung. Can't actually see all of the bear. 
I think that might be something they may have to change. So, I thought I'd bring you guys back because I was heading that way just to see if I could kind of get a little bit more south of the map. And just as I turn around, I saw these guys. That is the Plains Bison. In their little rest zone. But where's the males? A whole bunch of females, but I'm not seeing any males. But I'd actually really like to get a little bit closer to these guys. They're so cool looking as well. I said in a previous video that these guys are much more of the iconic bison that I think of when I hear that name. I don't know if you guys are the same. I guess it depends. But the European bison, for how cool they are, to me, these guys are much more of the iconic bison when you think of that name. I'm kind of half tempted just to take a shot so I can get up close and personal. If I get too close to these guys and they come my way and they just trample the living crap out of me, then I'm starting from back where we originally were. And I kind of don't want that to happen. I know it's almost, again, cheesing the game a little bit while they lay down, but I kind of just want to get a real close look at them. You know what? I'm doing it just because I want to see them. Oh, look at that. They're all moving together. Don't come this way. It'd be like that scene from Jurassic Park where they're just flocking this way over the top of this hill. Come around this way. <laughs> right, let's go and see. take a look at the actual animal and see if there is a big comparison between this one, the Plains Bison, and the European Bison, because hopefully there is. All right, here she is. Okay, so first off, they definitely don't look as big, but this kind of, the fur type, how the fur ends like that, and then you've just got that skin on the back, that's definitely much more iconic to me. I actually think I prefer these ones than the European. Can we flatten this grass down? There we go. Get a look at her now. Look at the size of that head. They're just beasts, these things. All right, let's get into this menu then. There you go. You can kind of see. Again, look at the size of the head. It's such a weird looking animal. Oh yeah, we got nothing but brain. At least we know if there's a zombie apocalypse, guys. You're safe with me. 626, 209 meters out. I've got to say as well. So far, the new rifle, the 300. I'm liking it a lot. I'm going to test it a little bit more before I give you guys much more of a, an accurate description of where I think it sits, but it's actually a really nice rifle. Again, it's going to be one you guys will enjoy. And I know a lot of people have been asking for this. Cool looking too. Look at it. Even without the iron sights. All right, so we've seen the Plains Bison. We've seen the Caribou. You guys have already seen the Moose, but if we come across another one, I'll try and show you guys. I'm sure you just want to see what I'm trying to get to. The Wolves. That's what's next on the list. So let's go. Okay, so I told you guys that if we came across a moose, I would show you all. <laughs> Here's a moose. Right, so we're going to try and take this guy down. A good hit. 50, 75, 25 to 50. He's going to be down in three, two, one, and he's down. I mean, other than the Plains Bison, I haven't really seen much out here apart from that guy. But it's such a pretty area to be in. And look at this. It just feels so vast. Like, it really does. But it's such a nice place to be. Okay, so, let's take a look. We got ourselves our first gold of the Yukon. What was it? It was just a level 3? One of the things that I remember them mentioning, which I did bring up in the previous video, or at least me and Taco did, was that they said they believe that the moose in this part of the world are supposed to be the biggest. So I was kind of hoping that you would get variations of the moose. Like, maybe having them look a little bit different or a little bit taller or something. But, I mean, this is like the second moose that I've come across. So, who knows? There could be more out there. But as far as I've seen so far, there's not really been a change. Still cool, though. Still nice to have them on the map. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so we've gained a little bit of elevation. And things are looking very, very different to how they did before. I mean, if you guys remember just not 10, 15 minutes ago, when we were a little bit lower... And you can see all that grass. Kind of flat land with all those trees. Look at it now. It's like there's almost no trees. It's covered in snow. And then underneath, there's like this red soil slash grass. I don't really know what it is. On the map, it's called, I believe it's called, yeah, Crimson Plains. So that's what we're headed to now. It's just so different. 
I really like it. I just, I'm a little bit taken back by it. You see, when you see the map like this, you think it's just another snow map, like Medved. And then it all it takes is a couple of minutes in that direction, or even for that matter, I guess in that direction. And you're just going to see masses of greenery. What is that? Oh, that looks really cool. Some kind of old factory or something. I think they mentioned something to do with that on the live stream. Again, I cannot wait to get into the missions. What's that? Oh, another caribou. Oh, he's having a little lie down. You know what? I am going to get him to stand up, and I'm going to take a shot at him. There we go. He's standing up. Just give me that broadside. That's all I need. He's alert. Looks like he's looking dead at us. Look at that. That's a warning call. Should be a decent hit unless I hit the top of that shoulder blade. 50 to 75. 25 to 50. And... Oh, no. He's put up a bit more of a fight. 0 to 25. Come on. Go down before you go over that hill. <laughs> there we go. All right. Nice. Yep. I kind of knew that I hit it in its scapula, but even so, still nice to see these guys. Let's take a look at true score. Okay. Oh, again. I don't know if you guys can see that. But pay attention to this section here on either side. Look how different that is. Definitely seeing a lot more variation. And I know, I know this, guys. For everybody watching the video, you don't necessarily see a massive amount of variation in the wild. But as a game sense, make a big difference. And it's nice. So, do you guys remember how this whole entire area was blanketed in snow? Look at it now. There's just none of it left. It's all gone. The sun has melted it all. That is cool. That changes Call of the Wild. It's a very, very subtle change. But one, if you've played the game enough, you will absolutely notice. I'm just claiming this outpost. And when I was on my way over here, I just realized how much snow had gone. Pretty much all of it now at this point. We got... Oh, the male headed this way. Okay, so we can kind of keep up with him. What's that? The hell is that? Is that a grizzly bear? Oh, look at it. Just sat down on the side of the hill. I'm definitely not taking that shot. I'm just going to keep going in this direction. Oh, is that two of them? Okay, I'm trying not to freak out, but there's one there. There's one just on the other side of this hill. There's another further one up there, and there's one... I think just at the bottom of this hill. Oh, there's one on the other side too that we saw sat down. There's so many grizzlies here. Oh my god, I'm so close. Okay, here we go. This is it. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That noise! Wait, is there another one coming in? Alright, let's take a look. <laughs> I managed to get it while it was stood up. Again, another single lung. Where's the heart on these things? Okay, it's just a little bit higher. So there is an area on the chest which I think I know to aim for. 100, 100, 100. You do hold integrity with the 300 on these things, too. Just look at the sheer size of them, though. It's so nice to have them on this map. Oh, yeah. We got another one coming in. There was one to my left, too. This entire area is packed full of grizzlies. I'll show you guys exactly where I am. This area here, I don't know if it's going to be the same, like, on full release, but oh my god. They're everywhere. All right, let's go and claim this bear. I think I've outstayed my welcome with the grizzlies. Very, very, very cool animal, but you definitely get a sense of that. You don't want to hang around and push your luck. All right, so there we go. Flesh, right lung, and liver. 100, 100, 100. A couple of grizzly bears. I can't be mad at that. I'm walking away with my life. All right, let's go find some wolves. Okay, so I've just found a resting zone. 
the gray wolf i found some tracks too it should be oh <gasps> there they are oh my god look at them that's a level six hard too wait how many were over there just now so we've got two over there we've got a female look at that gray one two females definitely saw a handful of them there wasn't just like three or four I mean, even if there is, I couldn't really care less. There's the wolves, guys. Oh, level 5, medium, male. Okay, nice. I've actually caught up to them. But one female there. Okay, they are actually headed into the forest. I'm so happy that we got to see them today. There's a level 5 male. You know what? If that's the only thing I can, I would have much preferred to get that level 6, though. I'm hoping that the Mosin will hold integrity on these things. But, I mean, in any case, I don't really care. I just want to see what the wolf looks like up close and personal. Now, at the same time, I wonder what's going to happen if I fire a shot. Are they actually going to flee? Or are they going to come back in? Oh, there was one right next to me this whole time. It came back for that one. I just took a shot. Oh, wait, it dropped. And then, oh, well. What's he doing? Oh my god, what are you doing? That's absolutely terrifying. Oh, it's down. Wait, is it down? What the hell is going on? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what just happened. Is that the level 5? No, that's the level 3. That's the level 5. Okay, so they do drop. And then they kind of just flee. Alright, I nailed him though, so I can always go down there and take a look at how we did. I think I nailed him in the back of the neck though, or towards the spine area. Even so, guys, like I say, not going for accuracy right now. That will come. Oh my god! Wait, does that mean... <laughs> Wait a second. Is this trying to tell me that that's how their eyes are going to look at night time? Because if you guys have seen the previous video where I said about the gray and you see their eyes glowing in the movie like that. Oh my god. I cannot wait to see what the wolves look like at night time. Oh, look at it though. All right, here we go. Female 49.55. Fur type common. Level 4 easy. 33.2. Quick kill wasn't great. That's probably why she did that weird stagger. We got a right in the left lung. Look at that, though. Really nice model, too. It looks a little bit different the closer you get to it. The further out, it looks very, very fluffy, then. The closer you get, you see much more of that detail. I love this color as well. What are they doing? Oh, guys, listen to this. Whatever it is, it's pissed. Oh, oh yeah, look. Go down, please, go down. Go down, oh no. I'm Liam Neeson. Go down. Oh my. This is the alpha, guys. That was honestly one of the coolest things ever in Call of the Wild. Devs, that is exactly what I wanted to happen. Did you see what it did? The first thing that I had, I basically picked up a flesh wound marker from the first one that I shot off the side of the hill. I think it was the level 5 medium. And then I just heard that iconic growl that I was talking about. And it moved from behind the tree. It came out into the open. And then it literally stood its ground and it challenged us. It was like, no, you are going no further. The pack is behind me. You're not getting past me. I mean, we did because I'm an apex and it should it picked the wrong fight. But even so, that was so cool. And, the, and like the weird kind of barking thing. I wonder if like if you get into that and there's more in the area, they come in and then 
There's like three or four of them on you while you do. I, you will not survive that. You just won't. Do you see that posture that it's holding on this picture? That's what it looked like when it came from behind the tree. It was kind of hunkered down low as if it was challenging us. Oh, guys, it's so cool. <laughs> I know you're probably going to get bored of me saying this. But I'm so happy that they've added that. All right, where's my wolf gun? He should be over this way now, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was a flesh wound. Yeah, it absolutely is a flesh wound. 50 to 75, and the snow is coming in too. Okay, guys, you're actually not going to believe what I've just found. It's actually something more incredible than the wolves in Call of the Wild. Have you guys ever seen a vibrating caribou? Well, now you have. <laughs> what is going on there? What are you doing, caribou? Let me see if I can put it out of his misery. It's obviously broken. Hey there, caribou. I got this. I go down. We're golden. Oh, look at that. Sliding down the hill. Nice. All right, so this should be the trail of the wolf that we're tailing. Its bleed rate is very, very low, which I don't mind because I get to see a little bit more of the map and kind of catch up with these guys too because they are absolutely making some moves across this terrain. Oh, there we go. Okay, I thought I saw movement. Yep, we've got another pack. Is that my pack? The one I've been following? Oh, we're level six. Wait, is he looking towards me? Oh, he's calm right now. Okay, he's definitely not looking towards me. How are you doing? Is he going to come this way? Oh, look at that. You can see them all moving together. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I really do. All right, we got ourselves a gold wolf. 87% quick kill. These guys are not as easy to take down as I thought they would be. They do that animation where they just flop to the floor, but then they get back up again and just keep going. This guy went for quite some time. The good news is we've seen the wolves and they did not disappoint. All right, guys, so I think this is as good a point as any to end. Now, hopefully this has felt like you guys were here with me for the very first time based on my reactions because I've just not stopped smiling from the caribou, the plains bison, and of course, the wolves. My God, that interaction that I had with that wolf, I've genuinely still got a massive smile on my face. It could not have gone any better, and I can't wait for you guys to try this for yourself. But in the next coming days, I'm definitely going to be bringing you more of this. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I am going to end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.